Good day everyone, Brian here from Witch Doctor, uh, sipping on a little bit of my Liberal Tears coffee as I make this video with you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we did a, another seating and velocity test. Uh, we did one earlier with a 6 PPC and we used sort of normal um, ranges of seating that we would expect. Uh, for people loading and shooting that cartridge competitively, uh, usually within the range of 20 thousandths jam out to maybe 10 to 14 thousandths off. And got some comments. Uh, one of the comments was a shooter who had uh, done a uh, test of him for himself on seating and velocity in a six dasher cartridge. And the, the feedback from that shooter was, hey, wait a minute, you know, maybe you didn't find any velocity changes with the 6 PPC, but in the uh, ranges that uh, we uh, see, you know, with a 6 dasher, uh, certainly I've seen it, and here's my data. And he showed us a target with uh, velo average velocities of five shot groups on it, and sure enough, there was a pretty significant velocity change uh, with the exact same load. So I told myself, all right, well, maybe if we don't not seeing that in the 6 PPC, maybe it's possible we'll see some differences in the dasher. So I went ahead and loaded up the dasher. Um, all the bullets were the same, the VT TAC 103, same powder, H4895, uh, same amount of grains in all of them, 30.8 shot from the same uh, rifle. You see that 26 inch shell and barrel rifle that you'll see, you've probably seen in some of my other videos. I um, shot at all this uh, today, um, February 22nd, in 50 degree weather. Um, all all firings were done with the same kind of atmospheric um, variables at play, so nothing really changed in, in that regard. Uh, did five shot groups and actually found that uh, when I tested on, uh, it was 29.69 was the average five shot velocity. Um, as you can see here in this column, very low standard deviations. All of them were single digit. So uh, in terms of variation of the five shot groups, there was very little. Uh, when I went 15 off, fired five of those, saw 20, 29.60 feet per second. 30 off was 29.49, 45 off was 29.42, 60 off was 29.44, 75 off was 29.38, 90 off was 29.27. Uh, when you do what's called a trend line analysis to see, you know, is this a linear change? Uh, it certainly is. The R squared change test is 0.93, which pretty much says, yes, you have a significant uh, linear trend downward here from higher velocities when you're on lands um, all the way out to much lower velocities when you're 90 thousandths off. Uh, pretty big difference, 29.69 feet per second versus 29.27 feet per second. So fairly large difference. Um, what I did too is I did an additional 30 shot <laughs> velocity test. Um, actually, I'm kind of testing some other brass right now um, and uh, shot it 30 times, this exact same load um, with, with the seating on. 30 shots and I got a 2970 average velocity with a standard deviation of six. So um, definitely kind of went back to the on lands load and decided I'm gonna shoot a lot of these to see you know what the velocity is like, see if I see any velocity changes or anything. And there was none. It was pretty much identical to the original five shot group on the lands that I shot. Um, so yeah, I think we, I think that was great feedback by one of the viewers. Um, and it looks like, sure, maybe with a 6 PPC, with that small cartridge, with the sort of tuning window, seating window that you would expect from competitive shooters, maybe you don't see any difference. But here with the 6 Dasher, with the type of um, tune windows, seating windows that you see, um, there will be a difference in your average velocity. So. Uh, definitely, if you are doing seating tests and you find a, a good node or whatever you want to call it, a, a good group, a good set of groups uh, with, with similar, you know, uh, uh, grouping, similar POI, um, you may want to go back uh, if, if you don't have like a lab radar or something that you, you know, currently utilize to test velocity uh, and test the velocity in that, uh, in that um, arrangement there with wherever you are on or off the lands. Uh, to make sure that um, you do have an accurate velocity for 
uh, wherever you wound up seeding your bullet according to where you think it's best. And uh, that concludes our test. So thank you for viewing. Please uh, subscribe, like, and share.